Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Welcome to Shark Week. I've been looking forward to doing Shark Week videos since, since I started doing this channel. Um, we're not just going to be doing paintings on various sharks. It's going to be all sorts of other things and talking about the movie and typical dumb trivia of this channel. Now, I have to admit, um, I'm not afraid of heights or, or uh, spiders or snakes or door-to-door -door salesmen or anything. Except I'm absolutely terrified of sharks. I will not go near salt water, look at salt water, um, and it's just terrified. They've terrified me my whole life, and I think what it comes down to is I saw Jaws when I was about eight, and at the time, you might look at it today and think that movie's pretty hokey, but at the time, it scared the living snot out of me. So, um, here we go on uh, Shark Week. Thanks for uh, staying with me, for those of you that have. And uh, yeah, here we go. Have a great week. Okay, so we're going to start out Shark Week with a painting of the Great White Shark, also known as the, uh, the White Shark or a White Pointer. It is the Apex Predator. And um, it is responsible for the most human deaths um, of all sharks. Um, these can be, you're probably familiar with this, it can be really big sharks. Females tend to be larger than males, ranging from uh, up to 20 feet in length for the females and about 4,000 pounds. Now, they do have a, uh, they've been around millions of years, um, sharks, and they've evolved, they believe, from the Megalodon shark, which is an upcoming movie with Jason Statham, who has a fantastic haircut like myself. Um, now, it's funny, because they, are, from looking at teeth on a Megalodon that they found, they, they think that the Megalodon um, could weigh up to 160,000 pounds and be as long as 56 feet. One interesting thing about sharks I didn't know until I started doing my research for these paintings is um, they have cartilage and not bones. Now, th that means two things. That lets them be really flexible when they are swimming. Um, but the other thing is uh, it's very hard to um, get any sort of fossil records other than the teeth. The teeth definitely provide fossils of sharks. Um, but if you for work, for example, to see a, um, a display in a museum or something like that, it's probably from shark cartilage that they've then created into a cast to create the, uh, the outline of the skeleton of the shark just because they have cartilage instead. They uh, travel all over, basically. Um, the one thing about these is a lot of these can be tracked because they're so big and they're pretty, pretty rare, they're large ones. These sharks are listed on the Vulnerable Endangered Species list, um, but there are some good uh, programs in place for preservation and conservation of the species, so that's good. Uh, one of the funny things I read is the area of water between Baja, California, the peninsula, and Hawaii. Uh, for about 100 days of the year, great whites travel out there to feed on seals and fat Canadian men like myself. And... Um, it's actually referred to as the Great White Cafe, so not the uh, not the place that I would like to go to uh, swimming if someone said that to me. They generally live, uh, the males live longer than the females. They sort of look at it that the upper range for a male is 73 years and the upper range for a female is about 40 years. They raise their pups. Um, there's not a lot known about the mating habits. But other than that, um, that's it for the Great White Shark today. Tune in for the next video. I hope to get a bunch out. We'll see how it goes though. Thanks. Here's some easy listening music from Jaws.